What was ruined because of 9-11? Turn of the Millennium Optimism Casually driving over the border from Canada. We used to go to the US all the time to buy stuff or just hang out. It was no big deal back then. You didn't even need ID you got more of a hassle coming back because the border guard wanted to catch you trying to bring stuff back without paying duty. Now it takes much longer unless you have Nexus, but kids teenagers don't usually have theirs. I don't think my kids will ever head down to go to the mall for instance. Kinda sucks. The US feels more foreign now. I was 14 the summer of 2001 and my family took a trip to Europe. Being 14 and a nerd I bought a sword. Carried it on the plane home. Security guy asked what's in the box I said it's a sword he said sweet and gave me a fist bump. This was like two months before 9-11. Quick airline travel. People would often show up 30 minutes or so before a flight and be able to board on time. National news coverage, the crawler only appeared during major events or simultaneous big stories. It never went away after 9-11. Catching joyride with the pilots in the jump seats. Oh, those were the days. Travel became a lot more of a pain in the ass. That was the biggest difference pre and post 9-11 to someone's everyday life. Before 9-11 air travel was a breeze. I'm from Canada, and before 9-11 we didn't need passports to enter the US and vice versa. So cross-border travel was almost as easy as traveling from state to state. Airports. We used to take $60 $120 flights to Texas, Florida, California, Washington, New York, Nevada, etc. willy nilly. In and out. Like going through a mall. Lots of people's birthday celebrations. Civil liberty right to privacy because of the Patriot Act. Freedom from fear. A lot of kids whose parents transitioned to a fear-based parenting style following 9-11, now employ that same style with their own children. And if you were in the D.C. area and had to deal with the sniper the following year, your parents went a special kind of crazy. I feel like 9-10-01 was really the last day of the 90s. Our overall idea of Middle Eastern people. I once overheard two girls on a bus talking about this guy one of them was dating. They were joking, but it was also a bit sad. From the Middle East? What does he look like? You can say he looks standard with a beard and all. OMG are you dating a terrorist? Laughs. The episode of The Simpsons where they go to New York because Homer's car is parked on World Trade Plaza. It features the regrettable quote they stick all the jerks in Tower 1. Air travel, civil liberties, global perception of the US, and the Twin Towers. Chuck Palahniuk's second novel, Survivor, wasn't made into a movie. Fight Club was a huge hit, but Survivor was skipped because the main character is basically telling his story, while crashing a hijacked plane which wasn't really appropriate after 9-11. So we got a movie adaptation of Choke instead which has its merits, but was never going to translate well to the big screen. My time in the military being an easy, fun way to get money for college. I got my orders to my first ship 9701. Digital privacy. Visiting the cockpit as a passenger? Country music. Post 9-11, all the biggest hits were. Ra Ra, USA, will fuck you up son. They basically chased anyone who wasn't a strict conformist out of Nashville. The Dixie Chicks went from one of the three biggest acts in the entire genre to gone just because they said they didn't support the war in Iraq, for a genre founded on being outlaws and working class leftists against the man, this was huge. Mainstream country music hasn't recovered and likely never will. Country music 912 It was a bold masterstroke by a devious monster. By the actions of that one day, they were able to cause a huge disturbance in the society of many countries, mostly to the US. The wars in the Middle East, the creation of homeland security, passing the Patriot Act, the drastic changes in airline travel, the blatant mistrust of any Muslims, the tragedy that was and is the prison at Guantanamo the cost in lives and money was enormous. 
The Twin Towers. Iraq. The police in the U.S. became more militarized. Nowadays, security concerns is used as a justification for just about any overzealous police activity. The perception of regular Muslims. Besides the Twin Towers? Air travel. Flying is a nightmare now, I'm told it used to be much easier. Honestly, the day that 9-11 happened was the day that we lost a lot of freedom as citizens a month after the attack. The Patriot Act would be signed and be a stepping stone to taking away personal freedoms. Air travel. Getting off an airplane, you'd have huge crowds of people waiting to greet family, friends, and business connections. Anyone could go in and out of the terminals. Going through security took only a few minutes, never had to take off shoes. When I traveled for school, my classmates and I transported custom swords and knives, sealed food products like tea and pastries, outside foodstuffs, and toiletries batteries in our carry-ons no questions asked. America. This country was far from perfect. I'm not going to pretend there weren't vast problems. However, this country has dramatic gotten worse since. 9-11 was a true point in time where the government started working overtime to both undermine our civil liberties, and erode trust in itself as an institution. This has had a knock-on effect all over society. For my generation Columbine was supposed to be the event that separated before and after. Unfortunately it was 9-11. Every decision we made in the aftermath made us worse as a society and as a functioning country. The ending of Lilo and Stitch. The wing pins they used to give to kids when they flew. They used to be cool and actual pins you could keep. They're stickers now. Edited to add so cool they're still doing pins I remember directly after 9-11, hearing from a few families that were denied pins and instead got stickers. Must have been a momentary rule they ditched. American patriotism. It took a hard right turn into jingoism. My mother's birthday is 9-11. She hates her birthday now. Jenga sales in 2002. I miss being able to walk to the gate with your loved one, or have them meet you when you got off the plane. The fun of conspiracy theories. Like X-Files, UFOs, Sasquatch, etc. I feel like gov conspiracies used to bring people together and be fun to consider. Post 9-11 all conspiracies are based in insanity, racism, politics, and drive people to do dangerous wacky shit. Kids being allowed to go in the cockpit. Mariah Carey's glitter album rollout. Idealism, optimism, safety, progress, trust, innocence, hope among the many other ways it has negatively impacted every aspect of life in the world. The waves continue to impact this very moment. The 90s was the last decade. My cousins lives. Their dad is one of the countless victims. 9-11 ruined the USA-Canada border. They made us start needing passports, which is annoying. My grandma used to talk about how easy it was to cross, like how EU citizens can travel freely in their 27 countries without much fuss. I'd love to cross the border for conventions without dealing with passports, especially when they're so close to Ontario. The Twin Towers. Before 9-11 they were famous because of how recognizable and iconic they were, now they are famous because of 9-11. The expectation of attacks in public spaces. It is no longer what if but when. I think it's something I've thought about once a week at least for the last 22 years. Ease of air travel. We've settled into the new normal but it was rough getting used to those first few years, such as as not being able to meet someone at their gate upon arrival, for starters. Also the increased anxiety of being in crowded spaces. I think we're living in the consequences and after effects of these attacks since that day. The Patriot Act ruined a lot. Iraq.